What's going on guys today I'm back my name is Cage and I was reading through some of the comments on one of my clock videos recently and someone was saying how I only film videos about classic clogs. And me being the croc king of YouTube, I really need to expand my horizon on what kind of crocs I put on my channel. Today I'm going to be comparing classic clogs to croc slides and giving you the inside scoop on what one I find more comfortable, more stylish, what one is more affordable. So you guys know what to get the next time you're looking for a new pair of crocs. Surprisingly, I don't have any croc slides yet, I just have the classic clogs. I mean, unless you count the furry ones as a different pair. So let's head to the croc store now so I can get a pair of croc slides so we can compare them to the classic clogs and show you guys what one is a superior croc. Step on a really crunchy leaf. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't in the clip. How's it going? Hey, guys, we haven't had a tea in a while. I'll talk about it in a video. I don't have any yellow crocs yet, so I might, I might get these ones. All right, guys, so I'm back home now, and I decided to get these yellow croc slides and I think they look really cool. So this is actually my first pair of croc slides ever. I've never even worn them. I have never really seen them in person until now other than when I went to the croc store, but I never really paid attention to them. I got myself a size 10, even though I'm normally size 11 in crocs, but they didn't have any 11, so I just got size 10. It fits pretty good. Uh, they don't have half sizes in crocs, unfortunately, but it's not too big of an issue for the most part. And while I was there, I might've got two other pairs to add to my collection as well. All right, so first up, we got these Croc slides and compared to the classic clogs, they're actually pretty comfortable. They're actually both made out of the same material called Croz Light and it's a type of polymer and it's not foam or plastic or rubber. Apparently it's some like oil thing. It, it's, it's comfortable basically and it's very unique to Crocs. That's one of the things that makes them super, super awesome. One of the reasons they're the best shoe in the world. In terms of comfortability, I still prefer the classic clogs because it feels more like a shoe. Like as you see, I'm wearing these ones right now. It actually feels like a more enclosed shoe and you have the option with these ones to put it in sport mode and then slip it on there and it feels more like a tighter shoe that is not going to fall off no matter what. But I like to live dangerously so I normally am rocking casual mode here. Um, I think it's just more comfortable for me personally, but everyone has their own opinion. So I'm going to give one point to the classic clogs for having the different options between casual and sports mode. Doesn't come on the slides. There's still time for the slides to come back. We'll see. All right, so just like the classic clogs, the slides have these little holes that you can put the gibbets in, which I really love. That's one of the coolest things about Crocs. You're going to notice I say everything is like the coolest thing about Crocs, but it's all cool. They're all equally cool. The fact that you can customize your shoes and basically make them look however you want. You can get whatever color you want and put whatever gibbets in there you want and basically make it your own shoe so that you really the only one that has that exact shoe. As you see here, excuse the dustiness, I haven't cleaned these in a while, but uh, yeah, I've got a lot of custom gibbets to make these very unique to me. And uh, yeah, these are my white fluffy ones. I love these, I wear these probably the most right now. Yeah, I got some Harry Potter, got some other random stuff, got a Yoshi. I don't know if anyone else in the world has a white fluffy pair of Crocs with these exact gibbets in here. So that's that's really cool. I'm gonna give them actually both a point because you can accessorize them basically the same. Now they're both really easy to slide on, which is one of the selling points for a lot of people. But I will be honest, the slides, are a little easier to slide on. I mean, they're both super convenient, but the slides, because they don't have any sides or back and only have that one strap, they definitely are easy to quickly slide on to just go out the door if you're trying to run and do something really quick. I know a lot of people like slides, like Nike slides, Adidas, you know, whatever, but honestly, I mean, I'm digging these Croc slides. I don't think I've ever owned a pair of slides. I mean, I've stolen my friend's slides before, but uh, these are basically my first pair of slides and I'm not complaining. As you guys can see, the size 10 fits me pretty well. Um, it's not it's not too small, it's not too big, it's, it's pretty perfect. But I also got a pair of fluffy Crocs and that was size 12, even though I normally size 11, but 12 fits me good. So it, it kind of depends on what type of Croc and that'll be the size you get. But for the most part, if you're, let's say, a size nine and a half, I would go with nine and just go down half a size because I mean, honestly, honestly, they'll fit pretty good. So another really cool thing about Crocs is as you wear them more, they're gonna start to mold to your foot. So you remember earlier how I was talking about how Crocs are made out of a special material called Croz Light? Well, basically one of the reasons that material is so special is as you wear Crocs more and more, they're going to kind of mold to your foot and fit you super comfortably. So the more you wear them, like the better they're gonna feel. I think Louie wants to come outside. Come here, bud. So one thing about the classic clogs that is not really available in the slides here is the variety of different colors and patterns you get with these. Obviously these ones are like a crazy color and it's not just like a normal color like these ones are. But I also have a ton of other pairs of Crocs that are just one solid color and those are cool too. But one thing that is pretty unique to these is you got a lot more variety with what is actually available in terms of design and color. Basically what I'm saying is the classic clogs have way more love and there's always new 
new designs being brought to the market very, very often compared to these slides. You don't see a ton of these slides, even though I'm pretty sure Luke Combs just did a collab with Crocs and he had a slide, which unfortunately I wasn't able to get my hands on. So if you're interested in these, you know, more cool, unique Crocs, as opposed to just the normal plain color ones, then definitely you're gonna wanna stick with the classic clogs. Now I know this is a video comparing slides to classic clogs, but I just wanna talk about the fluffy ones really quick. So these are a little bit different. They're basically a classic clog with just fur on the inside and also on the side there's no holes like if you see here got the holes on the side and then here they're kind of closed off especially going into fall these fluffy crocs are so amazing and that's why yesterday when i was at the croc store i bought a black pair of fluffy crocs because i mean they're, they're just comfortable you can't go wrong with fluffy crocs yeah i want to show you really quick i'm going to take one of the gibbets out of this pair of crocs and i'm going to show you if i don't drop it on the floor that you can just as easily put it in the croc slides and yeah, pretty sick. I actually think that looks really cool. I might I might keep that there. Sorry, other pair of Crocs, but you think, I think you just lost the gibbet. But yeah, I don't know if I see myself wearing these out too often. I think these are mostly gonna be for just around the house stuff. Like maybe if I need to run to the backyard, take the garbage out. I don't know if I'm gonna wear them out. I really, really like the classic clog just because it feels more like a shoe and it feels more like I actually have something on my foot, whereas the slides, it kind of just feels like you're going out in the pool and you're like gonna slip it off right away. So I don't wanna make this video too long, but my opinion, I still prefer the classic clogs as opposed to the croc slides. Not saying I don't like the croc slides, I'm just saying this is... Not saying I don't love the slides too. I mean, they're Crocs, obviously I love them no matter what. If you guys are looking for ideas on what your first pair of Crocs should be, definitely I recommend a pair of classics. Maybe not this crazy color. Maybe start a little more casual, a little more, you know, one color and then work your way up to this. No, but seriously, you guys can draw your own conclusions on which ones you like better. And if you are considering buying your first pair of Crocs and you're watching this video to find out what you should be buying, then definitely let me know in the comments with what you decided to go for, what color. I'll be definitely interested in knowing. My first pair of Crocs were classic navy blue and I say first, but I mean I had Crocs when I was a little kid, but my first ones like now that still fit me now I got them like I want to say three years ago. I got them in Vegas That's definitely like a super casual croc. It's not too noticeable. It doesn't like jump out Like I mean if you were to wear something like these outside I mean people they're gonna notice which obviously I'm okay with but if you want something a little more low-key Then I would definitely go with like a white or a black or a navy blue You'll be flying a little under the radar which if that's what you want then there you go But yeah, that's my inside scoop on the classic clogs versus the slides Hopefully you learned something today and hopefully you are able to make your decision on what croc you want to buy next or what croc you want to buy first but Yeah, if you did enjoy this video, then I'd really appreciate it if you left a like that would help me out a lot and show me That you guys want to see more videos like this in the future I'm definitely down to film more croc videos because we're getting into October in a few weeks and that's starting Croctober which is kind of a thing I mean it's, it's made up thing that I'm just going with it gives me an excuse to film some more croc videos right but right now I do have a couple more ideas of croc videos I want to film and if you're interested in that let me know in the comments down below and leave any suggestions for videos you want to see because I love filming them. Obviously, you guys know that. I'm the Croc King of YouTube. Of course, I love filming videos about them. Also, if you want to count the amount of times I said Croc in this video and comment it down below, I'll give you a shout out my next Croc video because, I mean, that's dedication right there. It's got to be over 20. I mean, if it's not over 20, then you're probably wrong. All right, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. You don't own me.